Hello and welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by rrpower.com. This is uh, part four of advanced login script with admin features and user accounts. Now, <clears throat> today we're going to be um, making the registration form. Okay, <clears throat> and we're going to want to start off with including uh, the folder include and the file session.php. Uh, we haven't made the session.php file yet, but we are in a later tutorial. Okay, and then right out of that, we're going to put an if statement. It's going to say if session logged in. So if the user session is logged in, we're going to display so this right here, an echo, displays uh, registered. And then right here, we're going to display a message. We're sorry. This is the user's username right here. Session username. Okay, it's going to say, we're sorry, username, but you're already registered. And then we're going to give them a link right here back to the main page. Main.php, which is the login uh, script that we already made. And the... Uh, user's account that's in one script okay and then we're going to do an else if session is successful uh, the registration is a success uh, we're going to display a uh, register then we're going to display this message down here thank you uh, session this is the registration name that they just registered your information has been out of the database Okay, and then we're going to display you may now, and then we have a link right here back to the main.php, which is the login page. Right here we display it. Okay, you can log in. Okay, so if the registration is not successful and the user is not logged in, we're going to do a registration failed. That's what we're going to do in else right here, and we're going to do we're going to display that, and then we're going to display a message down here. We are sorry, but an error has occurred, and your registration for the username, and this is the session username that they just entered, cannot be completed. Please try again at a later time. Okay, now we're going to do an else down here. Okay, all that. So. If all this up here doesn't apply to the user, if they're not logged in and the registration is not successful, failed, we're going to display the login form. Okay, and here's a login form. At the top of the login form, we're right here, we're going to put the errors. So if the form number of errors Right here, we're going to display the errors, okay, and this is the number of errors found, okay, and right here is what is going to display those errors. So you can put this anywhere you want. This is going to display the error for the user, the username, and then this one is going to display it for the password. And then this one right here is going to display it for the email, okay. We're going to start the form. Form action is going to be process.php. We haven't made that file yet, but we are going to make that. Okay, and then down here, input type is going to be text, name, user, max length. This is the, the max length of characters they can put into the uh, text box. Uh, you can put that to whatever you want. Okay, and then value, we're going to put this in there. Form value is user. Okay, and then here's, this is going to display the errors if there is any. Okay, now down here, input type is going to be password, name, pass, max length. You can put that to whatever you want. And then the value is going to be form value pass. Okay. And then right here is going to be the, this is going to display the error for the password, if there is any. And then down here, we're going to do the input type text, 
name email max length 50 you can put that to whatever you want and the value form value email okay now right here this is going to display the error if there is any for the email and down here we're going to put a one hidden input type okay input type hidden name subjoin value of one this right here is going to be the submit button for the form and we're going to do that input type submit value join now you can put this right here the value is what you see on the button this is the text on the button so if you want that to say um, register or sign up you can change that to whatever you want okay and the last thing we're going to put down here well one of the last things is a, a link back to the main page main.php okay and this right here is just going to close the else okay so all this is going to be in that else close it with the php tags open and close it with them and that's it i hope you like my tutorials um subscribe to my channel for more tutorials for upcoming um scripts and thank you for watching i hope you enjoy